Curtis, did you get that link I sent you? Uh, you're talking about the one to the Stephen Colbert yep. thing? Okay, so uh, for those of you at home, uh, so Terrence Tao is a mathematician who recently won this thing called the Breakthrough Award because he did some good thing in math. And so he was being interviewed on Stephen Colbert and they talked about uh, specifically about prime numbers and different kinds of sets of those and infinity and do they show up and you might think that mathematics especially um, like cutting-edge mathematics like that really wouldn't have anything to do with spirituality or or have anything to do with, with religious type stuff but actually in in Swedenborg's um, writings and in the things he reported that numbers come up a lot and they have a lot of importance um, when I heard that it reminded me of I have a little um, segment from his, he kept a journal of spiritual experiences. And he's talking about numbers in the spiritual world. You know, he would go and have these experiences. And he says, sometimes numbers appear. He would say the paper would be filled with numbers. Or he says here, they also appear on the walls, which I'm thinking is like some kind of screen, you know, like a TV screen or something, um, which signify the things that the celestials think. And the celestial, that's like the highest, the deepest, most wise angels. Um, but it's hard to know what the numbers mean unless you think like those angels. So that actually the thoughts of the highest angels can be represented numerically, which is interesting. And, you know, prime numbers, as Terence Tao was talking about, I mean, those are prime because of the factors or lack of factors that can go into them. You know, which numbers can you multiply to get those? And Swedenborg, actually, factors are a big part of his worldview. Um, that he says, uh, for example, the numbers in the Bible, in, in Genesis, Noah is 600 years old. That number is, he's not literally 600 years old. There's a, there's a significance in that number because 600 is 6 and 10 and 10. Um, and because of that, um, 6 has to do with times of temptation or spiritual trial, and 10 is like a completeness. So um, that's why those numbers show up. It actually matters what numbers go into them. So here we have Terrence Tao talking about these prime numbers. And that's interesting to me because a prime number is one that, that doesn't, I mean, it's, it, it's because of the kind of factors that can go into it that it is prime. So it's, he described it as like the, the periodic table of elements of math. And these are the indivisible units that everything else is built out of, just like in, you know, the, the different kinds of atoms or what make up the molecules in chemistry. So that makes me think, so if, so those must have some kind of spiritual significance. If there's something you can't divide and they're kind of the building blocks or some kind of fundamental mental or emotional principle. Actually, at the end of this number I was looking at, he says, every single idea has its own number. And you think about infinity and the infinite um, numbers and that is it, does he mean like each human idea um, can, can find its resting place in a number or there's a corresponding label number or that holds the meaning of it. And I, you know, that could well be, he says, even numbers correspond to good, odd numbers to truth. So there's an infinite number of good th goods or good things and an infinite number of truths. And you think about these gigantic numbers that are way up there and what is that and what's the signification. And just thinking about the, um, the you know, Terrence is trying to figure out, okay, which there's like groupings of prime numbers. Like there's, if, if they're just two numbers apart, they're called twin primes. And they, they're trying to figure out, are there infinite twin primes or not? And if, what does that mean on a spiritual level? You know, it's like this number that these two that concepts that can't be divided further, but they have relationship and where does that show up? So obviously I don't have any uh, ins like conclusions, like solid conclusions or insights, but I just think it's fascinating to, to kind of ponder it and to know that, you know, in, that there is a, uh, spiritual, which is the same as saying a psychological, mental component to numbers. And you see that numbers are so important. They, they've created all this technology we're using to do this right now. came about because of people working with numbers, you know? And so there's something spiritual there and just cool to see in Swedenborg that showing up in his experiences. So I want to get, sometime we got to do a video where we get like some real mathematicians in here and we look this over and, and really get deep into that. But for now, I'm just going to and then be done. So thanks.